your beautiful First Lady and the entire Pilgrim Church family the Hope for the City Award. This is to certify that Pilgrim Missionary Baptist Church in recognition of your community service to the city of Indianapolis by giving of your times, talents, and your treasure from me, myself, Kamara Holman, and my wonderful husband, my pastor, Pastor Nello Allen Holman Jr. from Pleasant Union Missionary Baptist Church. We love you, God bless you, and congratulations to Pilgrim. I don't know if y'all know when it will be next year, but y'all know last year alone. And then lastly, I always want to give respect and honor where honor is due. As a first lady, you are doing an outstanding job in your first year, second year, third year, fourth year to come. Being a first lady is not easy. It is a very trying position where you have to continually stay on your knees and pray that God continue to give you strength as you follow your husband as he follows Christ. You are doing an outstanding job. This is for you. I mean, it's for you if y'all want to share it or not, but I gave it to you. <laughs> it's just a token, a small token of our love, just to say we love you guys. Thank you, and stay on the wall, and God bless you.
us, Father. Thank you for the praise and worship that have gone forth. Thank you for the dance of praise and worship that have gone forth. Thank you for the prayers that have been uttered, the encouragement that have been had. And we're grateful, oh God, for the power of your word, reminding us of who you are, that even when we go through bad times, even when we end up in oppression and suppression and depression because of the assignment that you've given us, you've also given us a reminder, knowing that you are the Messiah, you are God, you are the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and we're grateful for that. Now, God, we come even now as we begin our mortgage burning ceremony, and we just offer up a thank you. Thank you, oh God, for people who've invested their time and their talent and their treasure and their tears to ensure that we can have this moment. We're grateful for those who passed on who are no longer here, but their work and their labor and their fruits continue to follow them, and we say thank you for that. Now, God, we, we offer up supplication even now that as we burn this mortgage, there's so many of us that need to burn some things in our life. Amen. We need to burn sin and we need to burn the past. We need yeah. to burn our trauma. We need to burn those things that are holding us back from becoming everything that you've called us to be. And so it's as we offer this symbolic, uh, this symbolic display of what this means to our church, we recognize that the same God that can set pilgrim free is the same God that can set our families free, set our minds free, set our finances free. And we're believing it done even now in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. I want us to go through this mortgage burning litany together. I'll read under leader. You'll read under people. We'll read it together under all at this time. Our help is in the name of the Lord who has made heaven and earth. We praise God on this day for the gifts given to us and the blessing to use our gifts to remove our debt. God does all things well. We give thanks to those who have gone before us in this place, those who have become a part of the great cloud of witnesses, those who faithfully prayed and gave and worked so that the life in Jesus Christ might continue here from one generation to another. We thank God for those past and present who had a mind to serve and to give. We praise God for the generosity of members, families, and friends, for the service of ministries and leaders of our congregation, and for all those who sacrificed their best gifts before the Lord. Let's read together. We dedicate ourselves anew to the support of our church, to the growth and expansion of the kingdom of God. We burn our mortgage in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.